going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video, girl, oh honey, you won't believe the drama, girls. The beauty community is shook, girl. Everyone is shook right now, okay? Now, this involves a couple people. So there is this beauty YouTuber by the name of Eden the Doll. She's most popular for her transitioning videos from being trans. She's very popular within the trans community, okay? She makes no doubt about it, and within the community, she is known, okay? And within the trans community, girl, she's respected and loved. Well, girl, check it out. So she was so freaking shook, girl, because she got invited to a Boxy Charm trip. So Boxy Charm flew all these beauty influencers to Mexico, right? I believe Jackie Aina, I think Mac Daddy, and specifically another influencer by the name of Isabella Bedoya. Okay, girl? Now Isabel Bedoya has over 2.7 million Instagram followers. And she also does YouTube videos, girl. Well, I was shook when I found out the news, girl. Well, so this is what happened. So they're on this brand trip in Mexico, right? Boxy Charm brand trip, and they're all there to promote Boxy Charm and some palettes. I can back it up. I got receipts for days, girl. Here's a picture of some of the influencers and during the Mexico trip, looking snatched the house, okay? Well, the tea is that that Eden missed her plane for the first day of the Boxy Charm trip, okay? So on day one, now allegedly, girl, allegedly we only have the side of Eden the doll, okay? Okay, cause she spilled all the tea, honey. Now she is saying that when she wasn't there, Isabel was hooking up with her man. <gasps> yes, ma'am, those, those are the rumors, girl. Now let's continue, cause when you go on these brand trips, okay, these brand trips usually invite the influencer and the influencer gets to take a plus one. So a lot of them get to take like their boyfriends or their husbands, stuff like that, okay? Well, according to the rumors, Isabel, one of the nights that were there, got really wasted, okay? And she was dancing with all these guys of other influencers. Now, these are just rumors, girl, okay? These are the rumors. But if you connect the dots, just stay tuned, girl, okay? So then, Eden, she was standing watching them dance because Isabel was dancing with her man. Well, Isabel's boyfriend, which Isabel has a baby, okay? Isabel's boyfriend was like, oh, hi, what are you doing? Like, you know, do you trust your boyfriend and stuff like that? And she was like, yeah. Well, then that conversation ended. Isabel walked over. Allegedly, she was drunk, allegedly. And she said, why are you talking to my man? Why are you talking to my man? And then Eden was like, I don't know what you're talking about. We just had a little, con little casual conversation. And then Isabel hit her, girl, in front of all the people at the Boxy Charm brand getaway in Mexico, girl. She hit her. And then Eden pulled off her wig and all the beauty influencers that were there saw it. And you already know. They started messaging all the other beauty gurus. Everybody knew about it, girl. From MAC to BoxyCharm to NARS to Too Faced Cosmetics, all of the brands heard about it. Now, the T is that BoxyCharm sided with Eden because from what it looked like, Isabel hit her first. And so everybody was like, are you okay? And they were like comforting Eden, right? And she was shook the house. This was her first getaway, right? Brand deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, then some time goes by, right? And Eden breaks up with her boyfriend. And Eden goes to BeautyCon in New York. And she runs in to Isabel again people were watching because they thought they were going to fight again, okay? Well, then she walks up to her and they have a little conversation and Isabel's like, yeah, you know, I want to show you the text messages that, you know, he was sending me. Like, you know, he kept trying to talk to me even after the trip and stuff like that. According to Eden, she wanted to see the text messages. I guess she wanted closure. So she became like little buddy buddy with Isabel, right? Even after the whole fight. Got the screenshot she needed. And when they were in an Uber together, Eden asked Isabel to FaceTime her ex. And this is what happened. I, I, I gotta see you FaceTime. You're... What are you doing? I'm at work. What are you doing? Not work. What's going on with you? Are you done to hang out? You in LA? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, now here you can clearly see Isabel's face. 
And you can hear Eden asking her to ask her ex questions. Are you done to hang out? You in LA? Yeah. Well, after this got leaked out, Isabel said that Eden was just trying to stir up drama, that that's not how it went down. And then Eden's ex made a YouTube video apologizing and admitting to it, girl. Check it out. Hey guys, so today I'm just making this video because um, there's a lot of questions and there's rumors and speculation about what's going on in my life. Sorry, I'm recording this on my phone right now. Um, today's not a video I'm really excited to make, so I'm not talking about anything any normal person would be happy to talk about. Um, I'm just here to just address things and clear up any confusion anybody might have. Um, and just stuff that's been circling social media and whatnot. I'm just gonna put everything to rest and I'm just gonna tell my story, I guess. Um, so, first thing I want to talk about is Eden and I in our relationship. Um, I'm sorry, it's like super, it's like midnight right now. I'm just getting home from work. I'm going to try to be as accurate as possible. Um, so, Eden went on, Eden, uh, if you've been keeping up, Eden and I went to Mexico like a month ago, a little over a month ago. Um, for this brand retreat for Pure and Boxy Charm, um, and then we, when we got back, um, like a week later, we broke up. Eden and I have been broken up for about a month now, which is ironic in its own way, because... On the 20th of April, it would have been our two-year anniversary on the dot. There's some irony there for you. Um, I'm going to, like, keep my emotions in check because there's no need for that. Um, broken up for a month now. Um, what would you ask? Um whatever there's no paper or anything i'm just i'm just here on my bed um we just kind of grew apart i don't know what else to say i met her when i was 18 years old um and i guess we just both grew into two different people and those two different people just couldn't be to, couldn't be together anymore i don't know Sorry, I'm like shaking. Um, I just grew apart. It happens. Um, she's an amazing person. Um, I'm not gonna go into the issues we had. Every relationship has their problems, and it's up to those people to determine how things progress and. That's the next thing I want to talk about is this rumor and about me cheating and me not being faithful. And if you look at my comments section, it's all over the place and people are DMing me their support and <laughs> showing me all this love and saying how I'm a nice guy and all this and that and it's amazing and I really appreciate it. To all those people who are supporting me and enjoying me love, I just want to say thank you. But I'm going to have to ask you to stop, please. Because it's true. I, um... I cheated. I'm... I'm not proud of it at all. 
nothing. Purely coincidence. Um, when Eden and I went to Mexico, there was a, um, there was some, I'm sorry, there's like, if you hear any background, my roommate's in the other room with his girlfriend. Um, but Eden wasn't able to get on the flight immediately when we went to Mexico. And I ended up having a night in Mexico by myself. Um, I won't really go into details. I'm not going to expose the other person. Mainly because you guys probably wouldn't believe me. Um, she has like 2.5, 2.6 million followers. And like, I deleted all the texts and proofs because I'm a scumbag. <laughs> Thinking I was going to get away with it. I played stupid and try to pretend like I didn't. I even went on social media and started posting stuff on my story saying how I apparently cheated, even though I, I know I did. I know I did. And I still, because I thought I could get away with it. Because I thought I got, I got away with it. I deleted everything and I tried to play stupid so I can, I don't know, make myself look good or whatever. Who cares? Like I said, I'm not gonna out her, cause what's the point? It's not what I'm here for. I hear some voice, didn't recognize it. Um, texted the number, didn't get a response. Um, I excuse myself from work. I go outside and I call the number. I guess she recognized my voice. She then... She then um, says, oh, I'm going to FaceTime you. I'm like, what? And I look, and it's the girl that I cheated on Eden with. I, I, I got to see your FaceTime. You're... What are you doing? I'm at work. What are you doing? You in L.A.? Yeah. Yes, sir. And she asks me how I'm doing. Tell her I'm at work. She asks to see me. I guess, I don't know, Eden and I had been broken up for a month now, so it was literally like last night, I think. Yeah, it was last night. Um, I was like, I figured, why not? I'm already a scumbag. She then asks me if she's, if I'm still with Eden. I tell her no. And then that's when I see the phone get grabbed away from her. And there was Eden. She told me she was going to ruin my life, expose me and all that. And I proceeded to hang up. And I finished my shift. Came home, figured I'd make a video about it but I couldn't even think of anything to say but I got off work tonight and I'm like I have to do this because it's the right thing to do but I'm the guy who cheated so what do I know um that's all I'm gonna say about that because what's the point of trying to expose the other girl doesn't matter besides I don't even have proof anymore so whatever So now that I've got everything cleared up and I've answered anyone's questions, the only thing I can say about it is that Ian and I had our issues and we had our problems and we just can talk about them, I guess. I know at least from my standpoint, I don't like to be told when I'm wrong. So that's just making this all that much harder. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, oh, problems. If it's an issue... Just address it. Come clean. Don't don't hold anything out. Because little problems become big problems. Well, honey. Now look, I already know what you're gonna say. Well, Ruth, let you don't know what really happened because you don't know Isabel's side. Well, girl, that's true. I don't know Isabel's side. I reached out for a statement. I've I didn't get one. Moving on. So, 
that's not that's all not attack pitchforks, girl. But the community, because I'm only just reporting the news, girl. I already started going over to Isabel's Instagram account and people were leaving snake emojis and calling her a snake and a cheater and all that stuff like that. Well, Isabel got so mad that she went to Instagram Snap and said this. I got receipts. Yo, the shit I just witnessed, I can't believe the shit people come up with and say just for views and comments and support from people, but it's all good. I got receipts. Yo, yes. the shit I Put in the description she put on there, YouTube video coming soon since people want to play the victim. Now, what I find so interesting about that is that Eden the Dawn made a one hour long video on her YouTube channel spilling all the tea. So it's not like I'm sitting here with exclusive, exclusive, exclusivo. No, girl, all this already happened. I'm just reporting the news. So Eden dropped the video, basically calling her. So for everyone asking if I've seen her video, I actually had to unblock her to watch it. But um, she said she had receipts or whatever. It's like, girl, come on. But then I have you on video admitting to it. And I mean, whatever receipts you do have, you're just gonna make yourself look dumb and you're just gonna like make yourself look worse. But like, if you were smart, you would just make a public apology and just like, man up to what you did i guess and just like i mean it is what it is like even though i can't even talk at the end of the day the brands kicked you out of the trip you're the one that got banned from all the activities you're the one that got sent home early that's all the fucking proof i need honey and it is what it is like is this yeah. not you yeah, so you want to my mom? Is this not Wait, you, are you still with Eden? No, I broke up like a month ago. Is that not you? Alright, where? There we go. Is that not your voice? Oh, and if you want to use your drumness as an excuse, is this not you saying, did your girl get here yet? You want to go to the pool later? I'll be friends with your girlfriend. Are you feeling me, sweetie? Guys, I don't need to defend myself. I'm not going to be real petty, posing pictures of me like this, trying to make me look bad. Girl, if you have to take it there, that obviously means you're wrong. You know, I did and said what I had to to you that day and hung out with you to get those screenshots and the proof, and I did. At the end of the day, this is not about her. I hardly mention her, but now it's being blown up because of you, bitch. You're making this a bigger thing, and I have to talk about you now, so you're just making it worse for you. So, yeah. But this isn't about her. It's about me, so. Talking about her man cheating on her and then dropping Isabel's name for messing around with her man. So that's why Isabel started getting all the hate and then the snake emojis, okay? Well, then that's what Isabel saw Eden's video and then said that on the snap. So apparently, Isabel has some type of tea that makes Eden look like she's lying and trying to do something for views. But if you really look at the picture, it's one person who said these things happen and then Eden's ex, and they're not even together, made a video saying these things happen. So it's almost like two against one but you already know there's always her story their story and then like the truth right somewhere in the middle i just feel like if the rumors and allegations are true because the majority of the people who follow eden and isabel are kind of team eden right now and everyone's like oh my gosh i can't believe this is happening to you she just is recovering from, from voice feminization surgery so as of the time making this video girl i'm team eden right now because i'm like girl why would like, imagine being on a business trip. Like, you're, this is a BoxyCharm promo. Your job is to promote BoxyCharm, right? So to be there, hooking up the house, if those are true, I don't know. It's kind of shady, girl. Do the job, take, you know, promote the brand, and go home, collect checks the house. It got very messy, and what I found very interesting is that the beauty community knew about this, but didn't say anything, and was waiting until Eden the boyfriend or Isabel to say something first and then drama hit the fan. She said that Isabel called her like a tranny or something. You have to watch the video. It's like a long video, but it's very interesting. The first couple of minutes is like really getting into it. It's slowly creeping up and then toward the middle of the video, it's like drama, drama, drama. I don't have no skin in the game. I'm just reporting the news that's already out there. Please do not send any hate or anything like that. But just, it looks very shady, girl. And I'm really, and I think the rest of us are gonna sit back and wanna see what the hell Isabel has to say. I really don't know what she could possibly say because it looks very bad for her. Like right now, she looks like the girl 
who stole the other girl's man. She already has a man and a baby. So that's why I'm like, I'm shook the house about this whole drama, okay? If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, since your haters, when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, you'll never get back. I right, see you next video. Bye, I love you so much.